uh, this video is about the Dell R710 server which have some question about how to use the VMware pass tool on the Quadro 2000 or the video cards which you need to have a PCIe pass tool you need this part number GP347 so you can fit in the PCIe slot then you can install the video cards on the server itself so let me put this one in first the card is clipped in it was fine on using the quarto 2000 even though the power which is demand more than the normal 280 or 290 nvs card is more powerful on this one and you can see the video card has been now fit i also fit in the usb free port so we may also pass through on this device for the Windows 7 VM this one. Yeah. So, put up. usually this DVI cable which connect to the Quadro 2000 is it's not gonna turn on itself however if you want to check the server it's actually been put up you can make the VM auto start or you manually start the Windows 7 VM yourself when you set up the VMware the actual VM for the PCIe pass through, the memory need to be reserved on the Windows 7 VM. So this one boot up then. For the VM and the Windows 7, I have a USB free output card and I plan to install the Creative USB sound card. So, yeah, once we put into VM, we can do whatever we like later. And yeah, it's still booting up, it takes some time. This server has the H700 controller and at the moment it only has a single quad core which is for the testing purpose okay the EXI is finally load up I'm using the 5.5 update free for the Dell server is the Dell ISO I download from the Dell website
So in the meantime, we let this one work in itself. And we put out this blue J cable, connect to this white DVI cable to the Quadro 2000. And as you've seen, this cable is connected on the monitor, which is going to sleep now. So cancel. Try again. Yes, on the configurations, you say R710 at one setting. You see this Quadro 2000, on the PCIe pass through. So, yep. Now we fire up the VM. This is the what this 18 setting. Yeah, PCIe device. Auto. Okay, okay, and we power on. And you also need to get the VMware to install before you install the quadro driver. So take some time. You can open the console. can see this screen is finally power up which is which we connect to the yeah quarter 2000 cards so see the detail So the list display yeah. and then monitor. This one is from the VM itself, and this is a VM PC. The properties. Device manager. Quadro 2000 and VMware SVGA 3D. So it has been successful pass through. And you can access the NVIDIA control panel. So if you plug in the USB free, you can hook on the mouse and keyboard. So the same server you can use it as VMware EXI 5.5 host, and you have the actual VM running on the on the monitor itself. If you prefer, you also can buy the network card, uh, network cable, transfer the DVI cable. DVI cable signal over the network cable so you can run your PC remotely in your room and this server you can keep it in a garage so you got le less noisy environment and thank you for watching the video and that's it if you have questions just send me a message bye